Wow, you made it to the end. Well done. Over the last four and a half hours, you have learned how to set Maya up, how to create 3D models, how to UV map and texture them, and then how to make your work look super sexy with lighting and rendering. That is some seriously impressive stuff. I'd love to see what you've made by following my tutorial. So if you'd like to send me a picture of your rendered scene, come and join my Discord server and show off your hard work. The link for the Discord server is below. You'll need to answer some questions before you can get into the server. It's a bit of a Hogwarts inspired sorting thing. Give it a try, I think it's pretty cool. If you found this tutorial helpful, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing to Game Dev Academy for more tutorials like this one. I put a lot of time and effort into all of my tutorials, so you won't be disappointed. If you'd like to support my work to help me to continue to create more detailed tutorial videos, then you can do so by becoming a patron through Patreon. All of my patrons get access to all of the supporting materials for all of my tutorials. You can become a patron for as little as $5 per month and you can cancel at any time. If you're looking to continue to grow your skills in Maya now that you've completed this tutorial, then I really recommend that you check out the courses over at Pluralsight. Pluralsight has heaps of great courses on Maya and I suggest trying out their Maya Core Skills Learning Path. You begin by measuring your skill IQ and then they recommend which courses you should complete from the 11 in the pathway based on your current knowledge. The courses in each path are also split into beginner, intermediate and advanced, so you know exactly what you're getting yourself into. If you would like to give Pluralsight a try, use my link in the video description to get a 10 day free trial. That's long enough to complete two or three of the courses to decide if you want to continue your membership. If you're interested in learning other software, I have some excellent Unreal Engine 4 tutorials which are structured in the same way as this tutorial, which you might like to try out. They're also linked below. The last thing for me to do then is to thank all of my wonderful patrons who support my work and allow me to create work like this, and to thank you for sticking it out to the end. Not many people make it through a video that's this long, but you've done it, and that is something to be proud of. Hopefully, I'll see you in another video.